Hi guys, welcome, welcome back. I know this vlog's gonna start weird because, well, I didn't really plan to vlog yet today. Um, let me sit. This tripod's actually acting up too. <laughs> One thing after it next. Um, I wasn't even gonna really vlog yet today. I think I was gonna plan to vlog later tonight. Um, after I come back from the Dollar Tree and need to get some box fillers. We have new boxes for the giveaway stuff. The bags were cute and all, but the more I see them out on TV, I'm just like, oh my god, like, they're not cute. So, I decided to invest in some boxes for those treats. Um, so ideally, I would love to actually haul the recent donation that we have so I can put everything out and just really make, like, you know, a good amount of boxes with all the stuff and kind of just really redo them and kind of make them really cool. So I want to go get packing material today. Um, we have bingo today. I'm all set up. I set up last night. Um, I really try to set up if I can the night before if I have nothing that I have to do. Uh, it just makes it for an easier day. I'm just going to set you guys down. Um, yeah, so we have bingo today. So today is the 16th Saturday. So I was just getting ready, getting ready because again, after bingo, I want to step out. Um, my, best friend, my best friend's going to come get me. We're going to step out and just do a couple little errands. We're going to get a couple things out of bread, milk, you know, the few, the few things that we need anyways. But also, again, because it is Saturday and we're going to have a bingo winner, I'm going to actually ship that package out. And I also ordered some glitter for my mom. Um, she wanted some white glitter for crafts. So I'm going to send her a little package. This video, you're like, girl, why are you even filming right now? It doesn't make sense. Like, you're already cutting it real, real quick, right? I get it. But I also want to keep it real. You guys know I've always kept it real with you guys. So being a content creator, um, I'm a nail content creator, right? So I create stuff doing nail stuff. Everything in my studio is nail stuff, right? As much as it, yes, I'm a woman. Uh, I do like makeup. I do like jewelry. I do like fragrances. Um, you know what I mean? Candles. All these things. Of course I like them. But I'm very realistic with myself and what I want to bring on to my channel fluff um and to integrate it has to be nail related for me to integrate anything into my channel that's how i feel uh, because i'm a nail channel do you know what i mean i'm not an influencer or beauty influencer or, or anything like that even though i could be no too much i thought so <laughs> anyways that being said this brand dossier reached out to me and it is a perfume brand um they have men's women's unisex perfume brand right and the reason I'm, I was hesitant is again I'm a nail channel I'm not a beauty content creator and as much as I wear perfume every day like every day I wear something on me right um, I know what I usually wear I usually wear Chanel to be honest is my go-to I would say um, other than that now I ain't gonna lie Burberry Gucci those two like those bottles are really really low in my perfume stash but um I've been loving my Chanel, so I just opened up my new second bottle and I'm kind of on it and that's my vibe. But if you know perfume and you know that, you know Chanel's not the most ch cheapest brand out there. But it smells divine. Like it's so pretty and I don't even remember which one, it's a circle bottle. I'll show you, I'll show you, we'll go in the room in a second, I'm not even like, I'm not fronting, I'm being real, right? So anyways, perfume brand, Dossier reached out to me and so I checked it out, I looked at them and I'm like, they look really nice, obviously you can't smell things in the, in the air, but like their scents, it, they sounded really, really nice, right? Like how they make them and not. It was just a beautiful, beautiful, um, like even the sight was so pretty and to like kind of pick your own color. It made you feel like you're almost picking a custom scent for yourself. And I really enjoyed that experience. But again, I was like, it's not nail related, right? But one thing I was like, oh, they had candles right now you guys know me I light my candle all the time I always have a candle going in the studio recently I noticed with uh, in my studio I'm finding like this black soot on my stuff and I've been probably know that it's the candle soot so I actually went and legit come here I went out for this not even just for this but because I wanted to transition over and not just lighting my candles all the time because usually I just light my candle and it leaves like a little soot sometimes anyways they had a beautiful candle on there and I was like oh amazing I can integrate it this way and then I can you know try the perfumes and just you know whatever whatever um but there was miscommunication and I never received the candle so I'm like how am I ever gonna just like integrate this this brand into my brand it just doesn't make sense to me so it made me really like honestly a little nervous and a little thing but 
I thought I would just be real with you guys and show you and give you my honest truth. So I've had it for about a week now. I'm going to show you them. But anyways, I wanted to show you that I got this little candle thing to help melt candles. But unfortunately, again, just a little miscommunication. Not a big deal. But I got the perfume in. So I want to share it with you guys and show you. So this is the box. It's such a cute little box, though. I love it. They have it on here. So this is why I chose Woody Sandal. A while back, I got this essential oil, um, and it was like a woody sandal or something like that, and it was divine, and I never knew I was like a woody person. I didn't know, so I'm like, let me try like a fragrance, right? This, I think, was more on the unisex side, I think. I do apologize, guys. Um, I should have looked that up. I, I'm so sorry. Uh, so amber vanilla, the amber vanilla. Okay, this. This is why I'm like okay they, they, they got something here they got something okay so this one is the one that I've kind of been enjoying let's talk this one first though I gotta keep it real <clears throat> pardon me again beautiful pa I like that packaging I think a nice cute little box iconic sense design quality with no markups and that's the thing guys these are so affordable like is it $29 I'm not even I'll put it up here I'm gonna put it up so you guys can see what I'm talking about on the side of the screen these were so affordable compared to some of the brands that I have in in the bedroom right and I'll show you because I'm not fronting I'm being real um of what I wear and it's not even go out and buy these things most of the bottles are empty hey I have a bottle in there that you know is for a special moment and that means there's only enough perfume left in that bottle for an evening out or whatever you know what I'm saying so you save it for that one moment I, I'm gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. There's a Versace in there that's has a moment written all over it. Anyways, back to this. The Woody. This is the um, Woody Sandalwood. This is really really cute, right? I like the bottle. Woody Sandal set. So this is top notes. Okay, violet leaves, cardamom, mild notes, um, amber dock, cedar wood. Oh gosh. Base notes, musk, sandalwood, amber. Okay, so they have their three essential notes. I'm going to put it there because I, the one I can't even pronounce. Um, I'm going to sound like a jackass. But this one, I'm going to be real. There's not much out of it. I've sprayed it a couple times. I'm not going to lie to you. It reminds me of perfume. And I don't like that smell. I don't like that, like, it's almost cheap perfume vibe. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm being real. This is what this one gives me. It's not bad. I just, it's not my scent. I personally wouldn't wear it. I think it would like thing me a little. But on somebody worn, I think it would be nice on a man, to be honest. I think it's more of a man one, and that's, this might even be the man's one. Um, but it reminds me of a, it gives me a smidge of a perfume vibe, and I, I'm not personally a fan of that one. Um, but it's not a bad scent. Like, I don't mind the scent. It's a nice scent. I think I would like to like smell the scent on somebody. You know when you get that hint of somebody? It's like, oh, that's nice. Like this to me, it would, um, this is going to be a perfect gift. Like I feel like in the day and like it is natural. Like, I think this would be good. So this would make this as a nice like gift. Perfectly, perfectly like, mm, I do like it, but I'm not, it's not for me. And that's okay. Not everything has to be for you. Um, again, the scents, read the scents, they have it, I'll, sh like, I'll show you that. The site is so cute, I really, really love it. So this one here, um, I have a whole different opinion about this one, Amber Vanilla. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That one probably came with a note too. So it does have your, it's so cute, and then you have all your, on each side. I must have took the other one out, I apologize. So here's this again. So again, I've had this about a week, I would say. Mm, okay, so this one's called Amber Vanilla. Now, this top note is Mandarin Pear, Pink Pepper, and uh, Licorice. The mild note is Jasmine Orange and Blossom. The base note is Cedar Wood Patchouli. Pardon me. Not sure what that one was. And vanilla and coffee. See, there is a little cedar wood. I knew I liked that. There was something in the cedar wood I liked. But maybe in this, with the sense that one is mixed with. Not so much, but the sense that this one is mixed with. Ugh, guys. Okay, so like I said, this is probably like... I didn't spray myself today. And that's actually why... Um, 
I even vlogged because realistically I wasn't gonna vlog yet I was gonna wait till later but this one this one okay like I said I've had it for about a week I'm not that crazy I'm about a two three spray depending on what I do usually just one two each side um vibe for me but so my <laughs> I don't know if you guys are gonna like believe me or think that I'm crazy, but I'm gonna go have to show you what I mean. This one legit reminds me of my Chanel. Like it's so similar to that Chanel that I wear that, and for a quarter of the price, I can wear this like every day and not feel, I can wear my two sprays, you know what I mean? Sometimes with the Chanel, this might be a one spray system. I'm gonna show you the Chanel I mean because I actually don't freaking remember the name, um, but I just know I like that one. That's the one I usually get. Okay, so I'm in the bedroom quickly here. Don't judge me, my room's a mess. Um, so yeah. I clean on Sundays, it's Saturday, and we have been go today. So. Okay, so again, this is the the amber one. I, I really, really love it, and I like it. Now I can bring it in here because this is where my perfumes stay. To be honest, like I said, I haven't dusted guys, so don't judge me. Um, so what I wear every day, um, I would say my daily, and I get compliments on it all the time. Sorry. is this one i don't don't remember what it's called it says well, i know it's chanel but i don't know like which one um they have a green one that i kind of want to try but like don't get me wrong they're they're not the same but um in my honest opinion if you want a pretty good chanel dupe That one is like, I love that one. Anyways, that's one of the ones that I wear. Again, guys, um, Burberry is another brand I wear. <laughs> this one's Gucci. Um, that one's like the bottle's kind of gross now. This one is the one that I swear it's, it's one last, you got, you got one last evening in there. I think we all do it, the Versace. Beautiful, beautiful one. So when I say that I wear decent brand perfumes i like the smell of them and it's not saying there's anything wrong with any other brands um but i would say i have a decent smell in my brain of what i'm looking for so and i'm iffy about perfume like i don't like just anything that's on my skin that's, i smell that all day like it's in me like i don't want to get a headache i'm very sensitive like that so that was very very important for me especially trying a new perfume that i can't smell or anything so i was very weary about that but the sight made it so amazing okay sorry guys the tv is on in that room I to be careful with that i'm so sorry so unprofessional so so much dossier i truly truly appreciate you guys for sending me out a couple of your bottles again i really really like it i think it this amber vanilla that's 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 where it's at so i can't judge on all the scents uh this one definitely gives me um chanel vibes so if you want a decent um dupe version we're very similar in my in my opinion but um, thank you, thank you, thank you. But I'm going to sign off with you guys right now because I got to get prepared for the bingo game. Again, I just wanted to come in here and I wanted to share the perfume with you guys. I know this is probably the most weirdest product review you've ever seen in your life and I understand, but I have to be true to myself. And with doing this, that's where I struggled. I was like, well, I wear perfume every day, like, but it's nothing to do with nails. You know what I mean? So we had to put it in a vlog. I had to tell you guys in a vlog style because it, I know you girls want to know about this and gents um ladies and gents want to know about it it's good um but it had to make sense too right so that's why i thought i'd throw it in today in the midst of everything because i wanted to wear it before i went out and i'm like girl it's all the people i'm surprised though i'm so surprised it is such a beautiful smell and i've got pure compliments on it honestly so and I get compliments all the time on my sm on my smell. It's really weird, and that's why I say it, it reminds me of like that vibe, um, similar to that vibe. Uh, because quick little story over fifteen minutes is not going to make any sense. But a friend of my mom's, uh, where she lives down there, when we go down and I I go by her friends and play cards and stuff, and you know, is a girlfriend. And every time I promise you, yes, fly. Every time I see this wonderful woman, she is always like. I mean, every time it's 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 almost a little weird now but it's cute it's fine uh every time she's like oh my god you smell so good like i'm just like chanel because that's what it is that's usually what it is but now it's gonna be dossier because it's like a quarter of the price 
and it smells just as good so I'll be back later on after the bingo so good luck to whoever wins today don't know who's winning yet um what time is it all right guys see you soon now just as we talk for a sec so I'm gonna put this with yesterday's vlog get out of the couch blue has been a hole in the couch I'm not joking he's inside the couch I duct tape it 15 times and he still figures a way to get in there and like get loose Get out of the couch. Blue, now. Now. <sighs> it took me like so long to get him out. We had last time. Oh my God. Mommy wanted to tell the people about the bingo game, not chase you out of the couch. OMG, little one. Guys, I wanted to tell you what we're doing today in the bingo boxes and stuff, but I have to get blue out of the box or out of the couch. he is but like he needs to get out of the couch and he won't come to the hole <laughs> oh, I had it like thing but he keeps finding a way to get into it oh my god like honey when we have a 12 o'clock appointment can you please come out thank you 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 <sighs> thank you baby Oh, come here. Come here. Come here, please. You can't do that. There's stuff in that couch, honey. You can't eat the stuff in the couch. Come here. But you're so freaking bad. You're so bad. Guys. I'm so sorry that you had to spend that first eight minutes with me. Blue's <sighs> driving me up the wall. So I'm going to show you, it's going to be hard, you guys are on the tripod, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to bring you up a little. So this is my couch. <sighs> this right here is a zipper, and I think when you, when you buy the couch, you could put, I don't fucking know, the legs or whatever to go back in into its little storage. That's how it came. Well, Blue found the zipper thing and he chewed it one day. I got my mom to literally put a leather like patch over it. He's chewing it. He's chewed it. I was duct taping it for now because again, we need to sit on the couch. I don't have money to buy a couch. I don't know what to do. <laughs> and he, it works for a couple days, but then he figures a way to, figures a way to get it off. Um, or he eats it and I don't want that either. Like, I don't know what to do because he can't go up there. Like he, there's stuff if he's going to eat the wires. There's those. Yeah, there's like a sack bag full of beads right there. Like, buddy, you cannot go in there. Like, I have no way of blocking him from the couch. Unless I take the legs off the couch. If I take the legs off the couch, it'll make my couch really low. But Blue won't be able to get underneath the couch. And honestly, I this second, like, it's going quarter to 12. I'm supposed to, like, 
be ready on a call to do I'm like dealing with blue stuff okay hashtag real life but for real though I don't know any other way to block that hole without just duct taping it for now what if I duct tape it with glue every time like I said I patched the hole I've sewn this was a sewed patch on it I'm not playing it was like a full sewed patch and that didn't keep him out of it he'll find one string and that's what he'll start with right so couch that's what I need now and a way to keep you from out of it buy those things that I can keep him from I, there's stuff I've seen on Amazon that can keep animals from under your couch I'm gonna have to maybe get that but for now I have no way to keep him out of this couch and that scares the Jesus out of my heart him being up there there's too much stuff I see a bag right here legit guys that are full of those beads and I've seen beads and he can't eat those things like it makes me so, you make me so mad. You make me so mad. You do. Let me so mad. Yes, little love. For one, you should never make mommy's couch. For two, that is so bad for you. That could hurt you. Alright, I'm just going to get a thingamajig because I, whatever the heck that is. Okay, guys. So after searching for 20 minutes, thinking I could use the drill, can't use the drill as an Allen key, but I found some that worked. found one that worked. Okay, one leg off. So I'm just gonna go ahead, take all four legs off of it, three now. Um, I'm gonna keep the screws and the stuff. For now, that's the only thing my quick solution is because he keeps getting under there. Um, realistically, I need to buy a new couch anyways. I don't have the properties for that right yet, but it's in my savings and that's what I wanna try to save for. It's just not the most comfortable couch, so I'm hoping next year I can get a new one anyways. But, hi, and the first person that complains, you know people have a swear jar? that uh if they swear their house they have to put like a quarter in well the first person that complains my couch is too low you gotta put a quarter in the jar for the new couch fund buggers because i don't know what else to do well guys the couch is on the floor now <laughs> he can't get under it so i know it'll block him the duct tape just it didn't work it's not even a quick solution it didn't last a few days this is like the fourth or fifth time i've tried to block it some sort of way and yeah he's a smart little bunker face for now it's fine it's so low like you might as well just sit here and use this as like a pillow and watch tv like for real because like the ottoman your feet are gonna be up like that oh sorry you still see that bruise on the back of my leg Ugh. it's healing pretty good though sorry for my ugly foot um okay so let's get back to this so i can actually get these boxes done and going because it is sunday we're just chilling um so saturday yesterday i went out uh we got the package shipped, shipped out congratulations my girl get it together and talk proper <laughs> holy congratulations i got everything together last night congratulations to kathy she won our bingo game last night it was super fun uh, it was a really good game it was awesome so she won i got that actually i was able to get to the post office i got to dollar tree as well got a, pretty much all the errands i think we really need to get done uh anything like that so today is just a kind of a chill day for me yes i wanted to do some housework um it's a little after 12 now i wanted to already be started this but we didn't have uh i didn't anticipate blue being a bunny right all good figured it out solved that problem for now I'll, do, I'll basically deal with the problem the couch is on the floor later because that's still an issue that I have to figure that out. Maybe I can figure a different way to sew that up or something. But for now, quickest solution I can think of. And he's safe. Um, so what I want to do is get all the bingo prizes together. We were using bags before. Sorry, I forgot the bag. I was organized, guys, and then, like I said, you get thrown off so easily. Uh, we were using bags, which is perfectly cute. Uh, but I think this is cuter. So I went out and got some boxes. And uh, the only thing about it is, remember, when you start something, anything you start, it's, it's gonna be small, right? So because of this <laughs> entity of the accepting giveaways, or sorry, accepting um, donations for giveaways, that opened its own entity, right? So that's gonna grow in its own self and how I feel fit or how we feel fit to for things to go out because at the end of the day my name's still on it right like you know br is the middleman to it all so i obviously want my stuff to look cute so this was cute and it was working fine when we had very little products we have quite a bit of products now so i actually want to revamp up the boxes or the bags even 
um, going to be boxes now, just to make them a little bit better and have a little bit more variety, make them kind of like the surprise boxes we all get. I remember that and I was keeping that in mind and I open a lot of boxes and I like the box vibe so I just thought a box would be better. Now with that I've noticed the shipping has gone up a little bit um, because of the size of the box and I think because I'm adding a little bit more stuff to them, um, they got a little heavier. So, hmm, it's... I guess you gotta weigh the pros and cons <laughs> with something smaller and cute, but I still think these could be better, so it's okay. We're gonna work it out. Um, for now, like I said, you can do cash donations as well, which really does help me with the shipping, guys, because realistically, if there is no if there is no donations for cash, then the shipping just comes out of my pocket. And I have calculated my own budget, don't worry. So I'm fine committing to a certain amount and I will budget that. Um, and if I feel fit that I can't swing that anymore, I will tell you guys. And if we might have to, you know, back it down to one less game a month or something like that. But I'm pretty confident of I can keep it going for, you know, on my own. But um, your donations really, really, really helps with that. And it just keeps things moving so much smoother that I don't have to stress about that. Because you guys would actually cover or help cover the shipping and that. Um, yeah, so it, it just, it works, right? If you can spare any change, even if it's like a five bucks because it really does make a difference, right? Uh, each package being shipped out of Canada, anywhere in the world, all of our giveaways are anywhere in the world. So know that, like you, you don't have to be from US or just from Canada to play our games or anything like that in the, in the group or even on the channel. My giveaways are usually all over. Um, yeah, so it's for everybody, right? So those shippings for me in Canada, untracked, tracked, you're looking at 25, 30 bucks per person uh in canada it's a little cheaper you might be like i think 15 20 but it depends i think our flat rates are still 20 bucks right so it's something like that so i budgeted my brain about 25 dollars a giveaway canadian that's what i budgeted in my brain because that's really what it, it equals out to be for shipping so i've told you guys i'm going to be transparent and well, i have been transparent through my whole journey so this doing this new journey with the, um accepting your guys' stuff is no different i want you to know what i'm doing with your stuff i'm not just you're having fun and being like, woohoo, mail treats. No, we could though. There's so much stuff. It would be so fun, but we still gotta give them away to the people. Yeah. Hey, okay. you. It's safer if you don't. Like I don't understand why you have to fight me. Like there's a reason I tell you don't go under. Like in it, you can go under the couch. We were fine with that. Mommy wants you to free roam. Mommy does not want you to be in a cage. But we had to have agreements. You can't go in the couch. Like it's in the couch. Under cool beans. I've seen you eating up the side of it. Have I have I did you anything? No. Because I understand you're a bunny. But you can't do certain stuff. We have to have some rules. Some rules, okay? Just some. Appreciate you. It's like what is this camera thing? He's just looking at the tripod, sorry. Yeah, I don't think he understands two words I'm saying, but but that being said, we have all the goodies, all this has happened. Uh, but now we have to do great things with them, right? So I'm at the point of let's do great things. We've had this stuff now for a little bit. Um, we need to see some movement. So don't really like the bags anymore. They're not really giving me like the best vibe, to be honest. They're cute. I think we're gonna use them for the nail tips. We have some packs of them that I think that they could work well so they're not being wasted. But I think the boxes are a little bit cuter. So not bad for Canadian. I have no issue. I got these up. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I got these off Amazon. So we have about 20 of these. I only got one so far. I think I'm going to order another one though. Uh, but I want to see how many boxes we can get. We have quite a bit of stuff. So Marilyn, we have all the stuff that she donated. We have our anonymous donation donator, um, which was one of our very first donations. We still have a lot of that stuff. That's mainly what that is. What's in all these things, right? Um, so that I think I'm just going to put down a little bit different and add some more, but we're going to get all the boxes out, everything out, put it all on the carpet and get everything out and going so i love you so much guys um i apologize from now if you find a hair in your in your treat box i'm gonna do everything here uh, i'm gonna put a sheet down i think my mom gave me a sheet for the little bed so i'm gonna grab that and put it out here to put everything on just so it's not on my carpet and also like there's gonna be glitter right so if it falls but blue's still gonna be jumping around i can't do nothing about him so he might be around in the video
guys how you guys doing so i know this vlog is going to be just crazy because it's going to be all over the place <laughs> but today is wednesday wednesday the 20th oh my god where did the month go um the 20th so i tried to do it over the weekend guys but it just you know things just didn't didn't pan out the way that uh i anticipated so is what it is we're here wednesday and i want to really get these treat boxes all done so i can get my front area kind of put back together and so we can just move on to what other what uh, what goodness gracious so we can move on to any other projects um yeah so i just want to get them all done so that way they're ready right little one's going to be here because we're going to work in the living room today i kind of want to put everything in little piles and see just and then we can kind of create the boxes like that that's my idea so i just want to put everything out and this just seemed to be the easiest area to do so uh, instead of just trying to use my desk and just all that, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, like I said, Blue will join us, he'll be in there. <laughs> so so sorry if you do end up getting a little bit of bunny hair ever in your packages. He was my helper and it just is what it is. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna go through that. We're gonna sort through the giveaway stuff and put them in our little giveaway boxes and just kind of get that little thing be cute and all said and done. All right guys, so let's just go. You ready? Are you ready to help mommy go to work? What are you saying? But, th but that, that's where you nap. Oh, you ready to watch when they work? Hmm, At least you got out of mama's way. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind up most now. Liberty's on my mind. Taking off with left and right. You, you gotta understand. Hey guys, so this is all the treats we have. I kind of have them in three piles. They're kind of combined because little love over there. So let me get into it. So this is more bigger stuff, I kind of feel. Littler stuff fillers, like charms and stuff like that. And then glitter and stickers over here. So we have quite a bit of goodies. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna put together some boxes first, get a few together. And then I did put together the other day. I don't know why I keep trying to sit on my ankle. Oh yeah, ankle update. Uh, I had to get an ultrasound on it yesterday. No, not I didn't get it yesterday. I got the results yesterday. Sorry. Um, it's still the bone is still swollen a little bit. But yeah, I actually, I guess I really hurt my Achilles as well. So and some tendons and stuff like that in there. So my doctor is sending me to a foot specialist and I have to go for physiotherapy and all those good things which I should be already in physiotherapy in that like to be honest but I've just kind of been stretching it on my own so that is the update on my ankle uh it was a sprain as well a high was it grade three I think it was um high ankle but I guess I did some Achilles and tendon damage as well not good not good but I can walk on it so that's that's good probably in the way so you take that little baby drill and then this little gel and lamp that could be a good little treat together um maybe we can do something a bit bigger good and close to the holidays or maybe a halloween special we could do that could be kind of cool maybe we could do like a separate like halloween something like that um 
giveaway. So maybe that could be something cool. Right? Oh, cool, cool. Oh, okay, so I mixed this up. So this is pretty much my colors. Blue, black, white, and pink. It's really like blue and pink, but black or white is kind of like my vibe of where I go. So either or I go back and forth on really incorporating as well. So I did get a little bit of black so we were in there. I thought that was nice. Um, yeah, so we have a whole bag. We got a whole whack of that. So, and then I also went and grabbed another thing of boxes. So now we have another brand new thing and so we should be good for quite a few boxes. So yeah, let's see what we can get into. I really want to get this done today. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to kind of like put you guys on and let's figure out what goes in what box. <laughs> Okay guys, we're back. I think we got a little organization. I got um, all the foils. Um, why do I keep saying that? Like I know they're forms. You know that, right? Like I do know that. <laughs> Sorry about peanuts in my mouth. Um, I put all them, I think I put seven, rolled it seven times um, in each one. Got quite a bit, so at least some people can try them um, for that. Okay, so. I don't know, I don't want to put too much in the box right at the second and then I don't want to put too little because I want to make sure we can get a few boxes at least because like as of the second this is what we have, right? Yes love. These are going to get separated but okay so let's just keep going here. Get a little love, stay over there for a bit. Okay so I'm just going to keep packing up the boxes. My method behind it is really right now I think this is like our go-to box. So for now I want to try to do two dips, I just don't really know how much we really have. So we have one there for sure. Um, at least a couple foils I think we could probably get in every box. These we're not gonna get in every box. Oh, I'm so sorry guys. Um, the foils, at least three glitters I think is a good good start. I'm so sorry, the window's open. Um, I apologize guys, but because I know 90% of this was gonna be um, probably voiceover or just thing, I apologize. But I live in the city and I swear to God I live in the most loudest cities. Everybody has loud cars here, <laughs> for whatever reason. Um, so at least two, did I say two? I feel like we have a, could we do maybe two for now? Stickers? I should just probably grab those other ones that I had that I was gonna haul too because I'm just doing the boxes so it's not a big deal. So at least two stickers, um, three glitters, two stickers, a at least one stamping plate, one extra little thing, striping tape, a pigment. So two, kind of two or three of the like little things three glitters, at least a polish and a poly. So that's kind of where we're, I'm trying to get them. And that doesn't feel too heavy um, either. So that'll hopefully help with our shipping, keep it thing. But I also want them to be pretty decent and not be two chins. So a few will get forms, a few won't. Just keep going. Big stuff first. This is kind of big. So maybe get a light in that one. So any polishes, I bought bags. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to sit here like sing, but like I know my feet are just gonna be there. But I hate socks. Like I legit do not like socks. So I don't see myself just putting on socks here for the next however long this is gonna take me to do this. And feel like comfortable, so I'm so sorry. Polish. We have a sigma jig. Mm -hmm. 
Okay guys, oh, address. So this was um, for the giveaway. I'm just gonna show you guys now because realistically, um, I think we're gonna put them in these bags. Or these boxes. So I got a pack of these ones. They're just Christmas. A mixed pack. Oh, look at those pretty ones there. And here we are. There's some water decals. Now, water decals all have those things on it, so I think I'm going to put these in little bags. So let's keep decals here for now and here for that bag. Um, oh, and then we have some fruit. I don't know. I have a weird obsession with buying you guys fruit because I think I love it. <laughs> I buy what I like, right? To be honest. Um, yeah, so we have like different fruit. Okay, because I think I want more than just like two or three stickers in each one. Uh, but for now, I want to stick to that. But I know this is going to make it. So we definitely can put probably like four or five. And then a couple water decals maybe. Because maybe nobody's ever tried a water decal. But I want to put them in bags. So we're just going to do that for now. And then speed it up. <laughs> speed it up. Because I feel like we're going to be here for a while still. OMG, was I here forever? <laughs> Legit, guys, it took me probably like three hours to do this. Uh, it, it did. It felt like it took forever, but it's so worth it. I love the way that the boxes have like came together. I'm going to have to get more of the stuffing to put on top, but I got a couple stuffed, so it was not bad. I did was able to go back around and add a few more things to each box. So I think the boxes are pretty good. Like they're pretty amazing little boxes. I'm so excited for you guys to get them. Um, of course, go over and join BR Nail Talk. That's where most of all the giveaways would be held. Um, yeah, but it is, it's so exciting and it was so fun actually putting these boxes together. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'm just going to finish up these couple and that is it for the night. We got quite a few boxes. Honestly, I haven't fully counted them all, but one of the white bins are full and I, we opened up the other box. So we were at least over 20 for sure. Um, I still got a little bit more cleaning up to do with the front of the house, but <laughs> It was honestly all worth it. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.